So we had this employee named Ted Bayer. Um, he loved this Russian Imperial Stout so much that he would smooch every bottle before it went into a case, hence the name Teddy Bear Kisses. We were having one of our company outings and someone had to bring their teddy bear with them to sleep with. And in the morning, when we all awoke from our drunken stupor, he was kissing the teddy bear and had been drinking a stout the night before. Uh, one of the brewers at the time, uh, his name was Sherry Hacker, had a daughter named after a flower. She suffered from horrible insomnia, couldn't sleep. And Sherry complained about it all the time. And so the, the brew crew got together and they bought her a teddy bear, and she called it Kisses. So the teddy bear is actually a rare cryptozoologic species of which Upland has maintained a modest population behind the brewery. Uh, the phrase teddy bear kisses for the name of the beer is actually a reference to that last moment of tenderness between the brewer and the animal right before he drains it dry. Uh, teddy bear kisses came from a employee that shall remain nameless and another employee, Reggie, the infamous Reggie. And they had a case of mistaken identity at a sex party for furry enthusiasts. That's really hard to do. That's why we call it teddy bear kisses. But also at the same time, we had a Russian Imperial Stout called Death Wish, which didn't sell for shit. But somebody had the brilliant idea, let's name the beer Teddy Bear Kisses. And kind of the rest of the story is what you know it to be. Unfortunately, Flower never slept. Okay, so one day well, we were brewing our Imperial Stout in the brew house and a big teddy bear wandered in. We hunted him, mounted him over the bar. Now every time we want a beer, we give him a big kiss. Actually, the name Teddy Bear Kisses came from one of our brewers, Caleb. He said, everyone else names their Imperial Stouts after like demons and dark places. We should call ours Teddy Bear Kisses. There's the name.